Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Michael Gray, and today I'm playing Nancy Drew, The Curse of Blackmore Manor! Welcome to my latest... Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Hello! Right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh head travels head a lot, so the only people at the manor head. with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, hmm. ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, miss. Good luck. I thank you a lot, sir. So here we are at Blackmore Manor. Yeah? And it's late at night, and there are frogs and owls, and crickets. Nancy! Whoa, creepy. Who's there? Hello? Oh, well, I guess it's nothing. Ah, what's that? Ah, it's a ghost dog of Moon Lake. It's back There's for revenge. Where, child? It, it, Over it's there. Right, it, it's. I mean, something it was, was out there. there. Oh, come in. Oh. I'm Mrs. Drake. I take it you and Nancy Drew? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night, especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid yeah, Linda is... Yeah, is that uh, possible? Not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Okay, so that's Mrs. Drake, and that's how the game starts off. And here we are in Nancy's room, where you can do lots of things. Oh, hey, guess what? Yay! 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 Uh, astral charts. Yay! Oh, hey, it's... A, the sun god riding his chariot across the sky. So now let's explore Blackmore Manor. Now, Ethel, do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. Uh, that's uh, Jane and Ethel. We'll be meeting them later. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. Ooh, sounds like Linda's having troubles with her husband. Which is the perfect time to go talk to her, right after she's had a huge fight with her husband. Linda? I'm a bright I thinker, I am. Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Aww, well, she's a welcome downer. to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. So, how are you feeling? Yeah. How am I feeling? Well... I feel like... <laughs> Uh-oh. I feel like something really strange is happening. Evil chuckles. That's never a good sign. Could you be more specific? Yeah. Could I be more specific? Ah, the ace detective is grilling me for details. <sighs> I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry. But that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. Hmm. That's everything you need to know. Now if... Mommy, can I come in? No. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. 
I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. Oh, come on, Linda. I can't go home empty-handed. It might jeopardize my ace detective status. Mm-hmm. Linda? Linda? Oh. Okay, I'll let you rest, but I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Nancy tells a joke and Linda decides not to talk to her anymore. Hi, Linda. Hi. <sighs> I'll be going now. Sorry, Linda. Hmm. Well, that's Linda, everybody. Clearly something weird is happening with her. And now let's continue down the hall where we meet... Ah, 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 what's that? What? It's just a parrot. Scared ya! <laughs> oh, uh oh. That's my dog. Hold on a second, everybody. Polly want a cracker? Not Polly! Lolo! 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 Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lolo, Lolo, Lolo. Hey, Lolo. Lolo. Bye, bird. <laughs> Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. And that's Lulu, and we've got this door. I need, I need the, the key. key. Which says, Beast we walk, we when ne we walk. I need the key. Which means, he who lives well lives twice. Or, he who lives twice lives well. I'm not sure which. In any case, what you're supposed to do now is uh, go down the stairs, get a phone call. There goes my cell phone. Yay, cell oh, phones! Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petroff. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Yes, and I'm afraid she seems really depressed. Really depressed. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? Yeah. I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A hmm. little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale, cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. I'm Where on the Hugh? case. He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda. Although... Although... Although what? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason. Which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Who exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care oh. of Blackmore Manor hmm. ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. In what way? The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. She'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Goodbye, Hello. Mrs. Petra. Goodbye, Nancy. Also creepy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call, and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Okay. Yay! 